I've been meaning to make a video like this for quite a while. It's going to be about the Windows Vista Experience Index. Uh, a lot of you out there really follow it and compare your laptop or desktop or computer in general based on what your experience score is. I'm going to say right now that's wrong. Don't do that. There's some of you out there who write it off as totally a bad tool. Don't want it. And I know some people that have gone as far as editing theirs to a better or worse score to show it that it doesn't matter. I know people that have gone as far as rewriting the code and getting rid of it. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> Not mentioning names. But anyhow, I have looked at it as a somewhat useful tool. And uh, I don't think I go by it totally to see, hey, is my computer better than yours? Mine's a 4. Oh, my, mine's a 3.9. Okay, yours is better. No, I don't do that. So, first thing you, you might want to do is go to Start. If you're in Vista, My Computer, or Computer, right hand click on it and open up Property. You're going to get this window here. It shows your activation status, how much RAM you have, 64-bit or 32-bit OS, and your processor. And then if you see Rating, Windows Vista Experience Index, there will be a number between 1.0 and 5.9. Uh, Windows said that they might uh, might increase the higher number someday depending on uh, what what happens to hardware in the future. I mean, we might we might have a quad core processor. We, we might have like dual or two quad cores in, in the same machine and it always be a 5.9, so they need to toughen it up a little bit. I don't see that happening sooner. <clears throat> but anyways, if it says unrated and it's gray instead of blue there, then you might as well go ahead and rate it. Close all applications and then just leave it. It takes two or three minutes to rate, and then you'll get a number between 1.0 and 5.9. I said now. So mine, uh, the lowest I've ever had on the computer was a 1.0, and that was because I didn't install my my uh, graphics driver. After I installed that, it went up to a 2.5. I updated that graphics driver, went to a 3.0. So you really need to find the best driver that you can. <clears throat> um, so you want to get the best driver. I would, if you have an HP, maybe go to hp.com. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, go to NVIDIA.com and search for it. If you've got Intel, go to Intel.com or ATI, whatever, GeForce, I, that's, that's uh, NVIDIA, but whatever kind of graphics card you've got, you might as well go to their website or the computer manufacturer's website to uh, download the best driver. So anyways, when you see your score, you can click it. Your score is determined, and it'll bring up this window, your score is determined on your lowest subscore. Uh, it takes, let's see, one, two, three, four, five scores on your computer, your processor, calculations per second, your RAM or memory, uh, RAM operations per second, memory operations per second, your graphics, desktop, performance for Windows era, arrow or the interface, like that, and uh, gaming graphics, 3D business and gaming graphics performance, and your primary hard disk, disk data or data transfer rate. Um, all of these are rated between 1.0 and 5.9. So my RAM is a, my I'm sorry my processor is a 4.8 my RAM is a 5.7 graphics 3.4 gaming graphics 3.0 and primary hard disk 5.1. Um, so my my sub score or my main score the base score is uh, 3.0 because that's my lowest. I think it should add them all together divide by five to get the average of it. But no, God forbid they do that. So um, you have low ratings. My ThinkPads are 3.1. My uh, HP Compact 10 C8230 is a two. 2.3 used to be a 2.6. I've had a 2.1. I've had a 2.0. I've had everything. I, I don't know what it is. Um, totally depends on your graphics, on your graphic driver or whatever driver of of something you're missing. More times than not, it's a problem with your graphics. Now I don't want to go over on this video, so I'm going to stop it here and um, then start a new one. There'll be two parts for this on Windows Vista Experience Index. Thanks for watching. Please watch my second part.